Democrat climate expert predicted NYC would be underwater by 2018 and Arctic ice free, details. Democrats are just the worst. They're not experts and their predictions are often wrong. Check that, always wrong. This story about New York City being underwater by 2018 due to climate change and rising sea levels just blew up in their faces. From Real Climate Science NASA's top climate expert, James Hansen, predicted that by 2018 the Arctic would be ice-free, and Lower Manhattan would be underwater. Democrats call him a climate prophet. Only six weeks left to go. More from Briet Bart. In the highly unlikely event that James Hansen is proved wrong and New Yorkers wake up tomorrow morning to find their city unsubmerged it could prove somewhat embarrassing. Not so much for Hansen, perhaps, who appears to have no sense of embarrassment or shame. But definitely, or so you'd hope, for all the politicians, environmental activists, teachers and so on who have spent the last few decades giving so much credence to his experty expertise. It was Hansen, remember, who basically launched the whole global warming scare. Hansen was the guy who in 1988 declared at a packed congressional hearing, as sweat visibly poured from his brow, that the earth is warmer in 1988 than at any time in the history of instrumental measurements. As far as Arctic ice goes, it's growing. From WBCKFM. Did you know that the Arctic sea ice has been growing at a phenomenal rate over the last five years? The Real Climate Science News site has an article where they have shown the Arctic sea ice has grown almost 40% over the last five years. Their sources are maps from the National Snow and Ice Data Center, NSIDC, at the University of Colorado. More from Daily Mail. Most scientists agree that sea levels will rise but some say it won't happen for centuries. Now, a new study suggests sea levels will increase several feet over the next 50 years. It claims the world's coastal cities, including New York and London, could be underwater by the end of the century. Too funny, too funny.